Welcome back Flamingos. Today I'm going to give you my review of Cherry Pocket Steak and Seafood located in Lake Wells, Florida. Hey there Flamingos. So for Mother's Day, uh, my husband and my daughter took me out to Cherry Pocket. Uh, we had never been there. Uh, so this was a new treat for us. It is located in Lake Wells. I will put an address in the description box for you along with a link to a website if I can find one. Um, this place uh, is very unassuming. I would call this the diamond in the rough um, for sure because you get there and you're like, there's no way. I, I should just turn around. Um, it's in a camping RV kind of park setting, and it's not uh, the nicest camping park RV setting. It's, it's older, older units. Um, the building that the restaurant in itself is older. Um, so it is very rough. So when I say diamond in the rough, I mean hardcore rough. Um, but the food was excellent. Um, everything that we had for appetizers and main entrees, excellent. So for our appetizer, we got the uh, cracker starter. Um, this had a variety of fried goodies and they hand dip and hand batter all of their goodies. Um, all of these were really good. There was uh, some zucchini, some mushrooms, uh, some catfish, some grouper, uh, gator bites. Um, I think that was mostly what was in there. Uh, it had three dipping sauces, a hazel sauce, a ranch, and a tartar. All were very good. I have no complaints whatsoever about uh, the appetizer. It was pretty good overall. So for me and my daughter, we both got the fried shrimp and they were ginormous shrimp. They didn't give you many, but they were big juicy shrimp and they were hand battered as well. These things were excellent. And so then you get the choice of seasoned Cajun fries or onion rings as um, an additional cost. Um, she sold us on the onion rings because she said those were hand battered as well. Also excellent. Uh, if you like hand battered onion rings, these are really good. Um, this also came with tartar sauce and the um, coleslaw. The coleslaw was really good. Um, not every place I go to makes good coleslaw, but this coleslaw was pretty darn good. My husband, um, he went with the crab cake burger and it was really good. Like that crab cake was moist, uh, flavorful. It was a touch heavy, in my opinion, on the mustard that they used. But outside of that, it was phenomenal. And he got the Cajun fries, so I got to try those as well. And the Cajun fries were excellent. For dessert, we tried the three uh, dessert options that spoke to us, which was key lime pie, uh, the peanut butter mudslide, and the carrot cake. Um, I would say that in order of favorite to least favorite, favorite was the peanut butter, second was the carrot cake, third was the key lime. I love a good key lime pie. This was not a traditional key lime pie. It was whipped, it was light, it was fluffy. Um, it was good. It just wasn't what I want when I want key lime pie. So not my favorite. Um, the carrot cake, also good. Um, their um, cream cheese frosting on it was excellent. Uh, the cake itself uh, was not dry. Um, it had raisins in it. That's not my favorite version of uh, carrot cake, um, but their use of cinnamon and the notes of cinnamon that you picked up while eating this was really good. Um, and then for the peanut butter, that thing, that thing will hurt you. It was thick, it was dense, and it was delicious. We could only all just eat a few bites of it all together because it was rich. Um, that peanut butter flavor hits hard. It's got a nice uh, like cookie, chocolate cookie, crumbly crust. It was pretty good. Now, I would not order any of these again. 
just just putting it out there. Um, if someone twisted my arm and made me, I would go for the peanut butter. Um, but it, I would have to share it because it was just too rich to eat on my own. So those are my thoughts on that. This place did offer indoor and outdoor seating. It did look like you could drive your boat up. Um, they had some boat slips back there. Uh, they had an outdoor bar. They had uh, an indoor barn section that they had called it and it had like a pool table in it and another bar and some more seating. Um, they do do some live music um, during certain times. This place was really cool overall. Like I'm, I'm sad for them that they're kind of like way out off the beaten path and not in a better location in my opinion because like they're really good. The service was really good. The whole inside of the um, establishment had dollar bills like that people had stapled up onto the, the wood and then like wrote notes on. It was super cute. Um, so yeah, I, I highly recommend if you're looking for a great place to have some seafood in a kind of fun, quirky atmosphere, um, this is the place. So, uh, have you eaten there? What's your favorite thing to eat? Um, if you plan on going, let me know. Um, I'm dying to hear what y'all think about this place. Uh, it was definitely an unexpected find for us. We will be going back. That's how much we enjoyed it, even though it is kind of a quirky setting. So until the next time, flamingos, shake a tail feather.